Today, the state Supreme Court ruled that an ex-Minneapolis police officer convicted of third-degree murder could soon be freed from jail. Mohammed Noor has been serving time for the shooting death of Justine Ruschek Damon in July of 2017. John Lortzen shows us why the high court overturned his murder charge. It's not terribly surprising, but it is really significant. Rachel Moran is a law professor with the University of St. Thomas. She believes the third degree murder statute is poorly written, leaving too much room for debate from both sides. It's not a new charge, but the debate is relatively new about whether it can apply when your conduct is reckless or indifferent toward one person. One person is the key in this ruling. Noor's attorney's argument is that third degree murder or depraved mind requires disregard for human life. An example would be shooting into a crowd or driving with a blindfold on. Noor's legal team said that since he was aiming at Justine Ruschek Damon and only shot her, the murder charge does not apply. The Supreme Court unanimously agreed, ruling that a depraved mind state cannot exist when the defendant's conduct, in this case Noor, is aimed at a particular person. It's a significant decision from the Minnesota Supreme Court to say that charge only applies when you are gener generally indifferent toward the possibility of people losing their life. The case will now go to the trial court for resentencing on the second degree manslaughter charge, and it's possible Noor will be released based on time served. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The ruling by the state Supreme Court essentially takes about eight years off of Noor sentencing. The decision comes months after the Court of Appeals upheld the murder conviction against Noor. In a statement, Justine's fiance Don Damon told us, I have lived with the tragic loss of Justine and none of this can hurt my heart more than has been, but now it truly feels like there has been no justice for Justine.